Hotch knows how to party and it is pumping here tonight. A punishing season approaches the pinnacle. Be prepared for the second semi-final of the FNB Varsity Cup. Masters of maximizing the moment, tied for the most titles in Varsity Cup history, the Maroon Machine, Martys, march north to take on the table-topping, slobber-knocking eagles of Northwest University. Flamini can't get his hands on the ball, Hassian gets it away to Paturi, they hang it up on the outside, Fortino, Santino, Swanapool. Nice little dummy line from Pretorius, Keeps the wide players, Croy, having to be a bit more narrow, but that is brilliant. Sonopol in the basket. Yuri Matia lines it up again. Here we go, folks. We've got a game going on in Pochovstrom tonight. Yuri Matia puts the first points on the board for the Martis, and it's a four-point game at the Fani de Toy Sports Ground. Devet Maria scrambles back. A young man born in Potrovstrom who attended Grey College, the number eight for Martis tonight. Nese School's representative as well as Matia is forced to clear. Not as much distance on this kick, it's Swanapool to receive and the Eagles are on the front foot. The danger man, Dino Swanapool. Swanapool swivels his way through the entire team. He is a one-man army. Yes, they were not checking, he was offside at the free catch. So, Varsity Cup free catch low is the position that only has to be, has, has to be five meters away. Yeah. Well, this is the perfect angle. This is the angle we want. There, there's yeah, five meters for me. It's the white scrum cap. Ruben Duplessis. T Bone is what they call him. Most experienced player on the field today with 29 appearances. Does that look like five meters to you? Looks like that to me. Okay, so Griffin, yes, the player was clearly five meters away, so you may stick with your on-field decision. Right, thank you, Stefan. Captain. Captain. So the player clearly starts in a five-meter position, so he's onside. So that's that's the loss of the white card now. Okay, thank you. Well, the crowd tells the story. They've dressed up for the occasion. It's go time for Martis right now. They've got the bit between their teeth at last. Matongo to ground. Bercy away. Tap pass, but he's a highly skilled player. Here is Kitoff! Cancel that chance. The Eagles stop the Martis again. What they're doing so well, this Eagles side. They're not committing too many players to the ruck. They're fanning out. Look at that. Not one. Eagles play in the ruck, brilliant ID, great communication, and look at the technique. Picture perfect from Pretorius there. Ruck the baby. Kits off, gets high, it. and the maroon machine so goes early this time. So They're clear. looking to rampage over the line. It's rocket stuff from the Martis, and they get their goods. Five points to the side from Stellenbosch. Exactly what they needed, exactly what they needed. Made a brilliant spiraling pass earlier, the substitute van der Vat. But that's picture perfect line out. Kitsov does well. It's a good solid set. Great work by the front rowers. Big V pumping his legs nicely there. Vernon Paolo stepping up to the plate for his team. Nine tries to his name. If they set a rolling mall, he might just make that ten. But can he hit the mark first? Floating it in, De Beer is there oh, again. Penalty team. advantage for the early shove on De Beer, making it clear to referee Colby that's what happened. Marty's maybe in danger. The double blast on the whistle, it's trouble. <laughs> referee Colby happy with this effort, and Paolo at the back sees it drifting towards the touchline. Vernon Paolo. Is too slow. About a meter out. Hessian gets it away! Try given! The Eagles flying high! It's Chandre de Beer, the first year up in here! The second semi final of the 2023 FNB Varsity Cup is in the books, and the victors are the Northwest University Eagles.